and I actually saw you in Valley Forge. Oh, you did Valley Forge Casino. I did, yes. I went to see oh. you uh, about a year and a half ago. Well, maybe two years ago, right before oh, Auburn great. shut down. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you. And I've got my kids. They're just off in the wings. <laughs> oh, perfect. So right away when I'm connecting with you, um, first of all, I have a grandmother with you that's stepping forward in spirit from the other side. Yep. But also, what's so interesting is I have a child that's here that's also coming through. Was there a baby that was lost, miscarriage, or a soul that did not make it? Um, she had, my grandmother had one. Okay, that would make sense because that soul's coming through with her when I'm connecting. Letting you know that she's on the other side and that soul is here. And this is weird. I keep hearing this name. Who's Gloria? I keep hearing Gloria. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that's a, that's, that's going to be a friend of hers or somebody that she's with because she keeps saying Gloria to me. Gloria. Now I have to ask my mom about that. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't because know that that soul is also coming through when I'm connecting. And your grandmother is so excited to come through and speak right now because she's showing me that her fondest memories of you were back when you were younger here in this world. Yeah. You know, when I'm connecting with her, this woman loved to cook when she was here in the physical because she shows me her in the kitchen and she shows me her cooking. Yeah. And she's that she's the one that's that's taking the role over watching over the whole family on the other side. Yeah, I can see that. The moment that I'm connecting with her, she's put me in her body and showing me what she had dealt with before her passing. And right away, she's showing me that at the end she was bedridden. She's showing me not to, that she wasn't able to get up before her passing. I, um, I don't. See, I wasn't with her at the end, so I don't know if she was bedridden or not. Um, I, she that, was like hours away from me. Okay. No, that's her way of acknowledging because so, souls will bring me back to right before they died. And she just showed me a vision of her in the bed. And I kept seeing her not being able to, to speak or communicate at the very end. Okay. Letting you know that if you did not get to say goodbye or when you didn't get to say goodbye, I should say, she says to me, I still know how much that you loved and cared about me. And yeah. she's acknowledging that. Okay. Now, did you also lose your dad as well? I did lose my dad. Yes. Because she's pulling him forward. She goes, well, she didn't want to hear from me. She goes, she wanted to hear from him. Yeah. And she's pushing your father through to be able to speak and communicate. Yeah. So know that he's also stepping forward. And it's funny because your dad is, your dad's a little nervous right now when I'm connecting with him. Uh, because this was so out of his element. Like he would never speak to a medium or communicate like this. That's right. But she's bringing him through to be able to speak and to connect with you today. Okay, great. And the first thing, the first thing that your dad is saying to me is that he wants to let you know that now that he's in spirit, that he has not missed out on anything within your life because he had died. Okay. And that's something that you need to know. He says, because Matt, he goes, my daughter goes over my passing every single day. And it's so hard because I'm going to be very honest with you. Your dad tells me that he kept a lot hidden before his passing here in this world. Yeah. He says to me that he was not feeling good for quite some time. Yeah. He says, but I did not say anything. And then all of a sudden I see him being brought to the hospital or being brought to the doctors. No. He's telling me yes. So he was brought to, he had to either see a doctor or had gone to a doctor before he had departed. And I saw that there were inconclusive test results that's here. Do you know if he saw his primary care? Because right away he showed me, he showed me blood pressure when I'm connecting with him. So if I can tell you, like he, he actually estranged from the family and we didn't know that he died. It was like 30 days after his passing that somebody found him because of the smell. Okay. And that's how we were contacted. Because so, of what? Uh, he, he died alone in his apartment and it had been quite some time before anybody found him. So he was not one to go to a doctor. Well, he shows me that he did. So when I see that spirit went to a doctor, it's his way of showing me that what, but either this was a physical or he went to the doctor because he was not feeling well. But right away, I kept seeing heart medications. So when I see heart medication, it shows me that he either had heart disease, heart trouble, heart complications, because that's coming up to me. And I think that your dad may have had um, a heart attack before he had actually died. Meaning that he had had a heart attack before him because he's showing me that there was a heart of there was a part of his heart that was not functioning correctly or not functioning the way that it should have. I think there was like I think it's called atherosclerosis is part of what happened to him. Um, What's that? It's like a thickening of the arteries. There you go. So your dad knew about this. 
So whenever he went to the doctors, I got to tell you, he knew about that thing. Do you see how spirit puts the, the pieces together? And your dad was showing me that instead of the heart being able to pump 100%, mm -hmm. he was showing me that his heart was only able to pump maybe 60% or 70%, whatever it was. He was showing me that there was an issue with the way that his heart was beating. Gotcha. And your father says to me, what bothers you every single day and what you hold on to is the fact that you feel as though that he missed out on so much of your life. And yeah. that's what he first told me when I came in. Yeah. And your dad says to me that the first thing that he wants to let you know is that he's sorry. Good. He says to me that he wasn't expecting to die at the time that he did. I got to tell you that. This was something that was unexpected. And he says to me that even though he wasn't feeling well, even though he wasn't feeling good, he says to me that this came on him all of a sudden. Yeah, I was He says, that I never sorry. expected to leave this world the way that I did. But I got to tell you one thing, because it's not until your loved ones go to the other side that they're able to look back. And your dad says to me, I know how much I hurt you. He says, and I want to say that I'm sorry. Because you feel like he passed and that he hurt you beyond belief. He says, and that equals my daughter carries a piece of that every single day. Yeah. He says, but I got to let you know one thing. Your dad tells me that when he died, when he left this world, he left, he burned bridges with many people. Yeah. He says to me that he walked away from his family. He walked away from longtime friends. Yep. He says, and I realized at the end of my life what I had done because your dad tells me that he passed alone and nobody was there. Yep. And at times, he also tells me that he had lost money. There was issues with money that he had. There was issues with so many different things. And your dad says to me, he goes, I was the one to blame. Yeah. But your dad wants to let you know one thing. He says to me, I was not proud of the person that I became. Because his whole life, he says, all I cared about was myself. But your dad says to me, what he needs you to know from the other side is that he's stepping forward today because he knows that he can't take back the person that he was or the things that he did. Yeah. He says, but what I do want you to know is that I'm able to see your life. I'm able to see the incredible mother that you are. He says, I'm able to see the life that you built. He says, I don't want you to hold on to any more hurt and pain because I died. Yeah. He says to me, because all of that negativity was left with you. So your dad is telling you one thing. He says to me that the one thing that he wants is for you to be able to release this and to let this go. He's coming through to ask for your forgiveness right now. Yeah, I forgive him. Because what was done to you was not fair. And had your dad had known, had he had known that he was going to die, because like I said, he knew that there was there were things that were wrong with him, but he didn't know your, your dad stopped either... Um, after, after he had found out about that issue with his heart, he shows me not going back to the doctors. Mm. So had he have known that he was going to pass, he says, or that something was going to happen, he says, I would have lived my life differently. But he says, I never listened to anybody. That's just how I was. I didn't listen to the doctors. I didn't listen to my family. But your dad says to me that what he's acknowledging is that because of him, you are such an incredible mom. Because you know what it's like to not be supported. And you know what it's like not to have a support system around you because your dad wasn't there. Yeah. Thank you. He says, so the one thing that he wants to let you know is that you never missed out on having me. He says, I missed out on having you. He says, because you were, so, you could have, he says, I could have had such an amazing family and such an amazing life. Yeah. He says, but it, but it was my fault for not letting that happen. So know that this is his way of letting you know that he's taking this opportunity to clear this up, to let you know that he is safe and at peace. And more importantly, that even though it's hard to talk to him like this, this is his way of, of making amends, letting you know that he is connected to you on the other side and that he is at peace. Thank you. Right. I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I'm going to go to Lisa Vickers. Wow. Oh, okay. Are you muted now? What happens in their yeah. body? how they had died, and what they were wow. feeling before their departure. I gotta send that to Grandma. Yeah. 